Hi, my name is Scott Simpson, and today we'll be talking about the strength of oxidizing and reducing agents. So um, if you want to know what's going to be oxidized and what's being reduced, you can look up the standard cell potential or the redox potential um, of different half reactions. And from this information, you can tell if something's going to be oxidized or reduced. A lot of issues that stem from this are the use of the words oxidizing agent, the thing that will be reduced, and reduction agent, the thing that will be oxidized. So today we're gonna to talk about how to go through that process, utilize those uh, standard reduction potentials to figure out what will be oxidized and what will be reduced. Okay, so the more positive, your E naught, your standard reduction potential, uh, the more likely the substance is to be reduced. Okay, the substance that is being reduced is the oxidizing. This is the substance that is allowing the oxidation to occur. Therefore, it has to be reduced. The opposite is true for a reduction agent. The more negative, standard reduction potential, the more likely that system is to be um, oxidized. Substance is oxidized. Meaning it is the reducing. Well, squeaky noise is all good. Okay, so let's look at an example of this. Example. I'm going to move a little bit lower because again, that thing is in the way. Uh, let's say we look at the two half reactions that we have here. Enough for this guy. We have it written as positive 2.87 volts. And then we have, uh, let's look at lithium. And we get a value of 3.05. So these are good examples because we know um, lithium is a metal. It likes to readily give up an electron. Fluorine is highly electromagnetic. It wants to accept electrons. So looking at this example, here we have a positive E naught, meaning um, this system is more likely to be reduced. It's gonna pull electrons away. Therefore, it's an oxidizing agent. The lithium, the lithium wants to give up an electron. It generally does not want to be reduced. It has a negative cell potential or standard reduction potential, excuse me. Cell potential would be with both of them, a negative standard reduction potential. Therefore, this guy is more likely to be oxidized and is the reducing agent. Most likely it would be lithium that you would be tossing into the system. So now let's look at a, a, another situation where we have a bunch of different metals, they're all paired up, and we want to try and figure out which one is the best reducing agent. Okay, so Example, which metal is the best oxidizing agent? Okay. 
and which is the best reducing region. We have nickel solid. We have zinc solid. And we have copper. Okay, so what we're going to do next is, is we're going to take a look at the standard reduction potentials of each of these different metals. We've got nickel two plus electrons going to nickel solid. In that case, E naught is equal to negative 0.28. Seven volts. Mark was not doing uh, Then we have zinc two plus. Two electrons gets us zinc solid. Standard reduction potential for that guy is negative 0 0.76 volts. And then finally, we have our copper. Two electrons to so zinc solid. E naught in this case is positive 0 0.34 volts. All right, so now we have the standard reduction potentials of each of these um, substances, and we have to look at them and we have to decide which one is most likely to be oxidized, which one's most likely to be reduced. Given the signs of each of these and their magnitudes, we can say these are the max and min. So these are most likely going to be at fault. Remember, the more positive, the more likely to be reduced. So this will be reduced, or is the best, best system to be reduced, which means it's the best oxidizing. Now, the most negative value. This is the one that is most likely to be oxidized and therefore is the best reducing agent. All you really have to do is look at the values of the standard reduction potential and you can figure out which one is going to be the best oxidizing agent or best reducing agent. The toughest thing is to keep track of what's being reduced and what's being oxidized. Remember, what is being oxidized is a reducing agent. Whatever is being reduced is an oxidizing agent. It tends to be confusing. So uh, with that, I'd like to thank you for listening. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you.